Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about directional HDMI. What's that? You're about to find out. My name is Bruce Gilson and we have another episode of Knowledge Basics. This one's gonna be nice, short, and sweet. And our TV today, it says no signal, even though we thought we had everything hooked up correctly. But there's something that a lot of people don't know about long HDMI cables. Have you ever plugged in a long HDMI? You thought you had everything correct and then it didn't work? Here's the reason why. When you're dealing with long HDMI, and it could happen in short cables, although it's way less common, but long HDMI, there's actually uh, a portion of it that one of them is for the display and the other one is for the source, making it a directional cable. Most people think it doesn't matter which end you plug in, but on long HDMI cables, it does matter. And here's the reason why. There's a little bit of power uh, actually in that uh, HDMI port on your device, whether it's your you know, PlayStation or your computer or whatever you're sending your signal from. And on the long HDMI cables, there's a chip, an active chip inside your sending side that then transmits that signal to your receiving side. So in this particular cable, you can see, I'm gonna hold this up. The display side is larger than the sending side and that's because it has a receiving chip and then the two things are actually notated to one of them says source and the other one says display. So before you get mad and rah, and then throw the cable away and you know, take it back to wherever you bought it from and complain or whatever, you might wanna just pay attention to the fact that it might be directional. It can only go one way. Hope that helps you out today. We've got a lot more content, so make sure that you're subscribing, you're receiving notifications, and you're digging deeper into what it means to be an AV professional and uh, learn more about our industry.